This is one of the most interesting electric vehicles I've driven in years. But it's not a battery electric vehicle. This isn't a, a Tesla or a Hyundai or any of the other scores of battery electric vehicles out there. This is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. It's the Toyota Mirai, the latest version of Toyota's Mirai. And what makes this so interesting is that the electrons to power the electric motors, well, they come from hydrogen. Hydrogen that is processed through a fuel cell, and that strips out the electrons, throws the protons over here with some water, vapor, and what you end up with is a very, very clean, smooth, powerful driving experience. I've been test driving fuel cell vehicles since the mid-1990s when Ballard Power System, Vancouver's own Ballard Power System started to come on the stage. Ford and Mercedes-Benz put lots of money into building Ballard up. Ballard stock soared and then everything crashed when the realization came that hydrogen fuel cells just don't make sense. Not right now and for a whole bunch of reasons. I do want to share a few words about Jeffrey Ballard himself, the founder of Ballard Power Systems, before we dig into the details of the Mirai. Ballard told me during an extremely long interview at his house in West Vancouver that his one big regret is that the money Ballard raised through various stock offerings did not go into developing the technology itself to doing the science and then refining the engineering. Ballard was not in agreement with many of the board members and eventually he was forced out. That said, two car makers in particular have been steadfast in insisting that the long-term future for electrification of the personal transportation is in fuel cells. One of those companies, Toyota. Toyota has done a terrific job with this vehicle to prove that you can make a lovely, lovely driving machine that is a hydrogen-powered vehicle. The Mirai performs as you'd want in any premium sedan, just with zero tailpipe emissions. Total emissions depend on where the hydrogen comes from, how clean the fuel making process is. Regardless, hydrogen fill-ups are quick, though a bit more complicated than with gas or diesel. And the 640 kilometer or so range is, well, what you'd expect in a so-called normal car. How much? The base price is 54,000 and change, plus fees and taxes. So you were looking at mid 60s out the door. That for a four door rear wheel drive sedan with sporty performance thanks to balanced weight distribution, a low center of gravity, and a nicely tuned suspension. The car's handling is predictable and responsive. Given this is a heavy rig and a big one for a contemporary four door sedan. Behind the wheel there are no so called tells that suggest this is anything other than an electric car which it is. Responses are smooth, quiet, and strong. Then we have the design. The roof line is low and sleek. The hood is long and the short rear deck is visually appealing, but a practical drawback. There's no real trunk space. I like these long, narrow, auto-leveling headlights and the thin LED taillight panel. It's all quite modern and appealing. The cabin has room for four adults, five in a pinch. Headroom is tight for taller folks. The materials are expensive looking and the craftsmanship is obvious. The so-called Softex upholstery spared cows of providing leather and the synthetic leather instrument panel with satin trim is quite upmarket. Heated and power adjustable front seats and a heated steering wheel are all standard. So is a 14-speaker JBL Premium Audio System. Also standard, Bluetooth connectivity, wireless compatibility with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and integrated Sirius XM satellite radio. There is a huge list of safety features and technologies. The infotainment system is first-rate. Toyota seems pretty unwavering in its commitment to hydrogen fuel cell technology. Hydrogen aligns with consumer expectations for convenience. You get quick refueling times and long driving ranges. Toyota has done a marvelous job with the latest version of the Mirai. It's fast, it's comfortable, it's powerful, it's luxurious. I could live with this car 
no problem at all. Except, of course, where would you fill it up? It's not like fuel cells filling stations are on every street corner. What we are looking at here, then, is a proof point. It shows that Toyota has not given up on the dream of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. When they will become mainstream, that's a much bigger question. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Cato, and this is CatoCarGuy.com. We'll see you next time.